Yes, children, you are supposed to edit this exercise. It's written on, a, on the blackboard. Bollywood is an informal word for India's Hindi language. Hindi language film industry based at the city of Mumbai. It is most formally referred to as Hindi cinema. Bollywood term is also used with non-Indian Indians as a cinematic to refer with a whole of Indian cinema. Yeah, Senet Dake, C D O C H E. Wait, first you write it down and do the corrections. Senet Dake is where something, where one thing stands for the whole. Okay. Okay, now let's start the corrections. Gurupal, stand up and do, do the first line. Bollywood is a informal word for India's Hindi language film industry. India is okay or India's? So here the mistake is instead of a, it should be an. So Bollywood is an informal word for India's Hindi language film industry. Okay, next uh, Gaurav, based at the city of Mumbai. Yes, based in the city of Mumbai. Okay, next one, Navneet, no, Nivedita. It's most formally referred to as Hindu, Hindi cinema. Yes. Hmm. So instead of most, what? Hmm? Yes, more. Why more? Number one, there is uh, no comparison. Uh, so there is comparison only being called as infor informally called as uh, as called as Hindi language, whatever film industry. Bollywood is informal and formally it is known as Hindi cinema. So there are only two things, Bollywood and Hindi cinema. So more formally. Okay, so it is more formally referred to as a as Hindi cinema. Okay, sit down. Next one. Yes. Bollywood term is also used among non Indians as a synecdoche to refer to the whole. Industry. Okay, Bollywood term is also used. It is used by non Indians. Okay, this term is used by non Indians. So it is used by non-Indians as a synecdoche to refer to refer to a to a is okay to the whole of Indian cinema. So refer to, not refer with. It is referred to as it is referred to the whole of Indian cinema. Sit down. So there might be some prepositional mistake. There might be some. Uh, you know, comparative adjective mistake, whatever. So be careful. Okay, now the next exercise is so now there is another exercise. Do the editing. Underline the mistake and write the answer side by side.
Yes. Hmm? This is what you have to do. Yes, Kirti must speak the answer. First line, popcorn is a type of corn. Who expands from the kernel? What's the correction here? Popcorn is a type of corn that expands from the kernel. Yes. So instead of who, it should be which. We use who for the living things and which for non-living things. So which expands from the kernel and puffs up when heated. It was all correct. Okay, when heated, pressure, when heated, pressure build within the kernel. Okay, you sit next girl. Yes, when heated, pressure builds, B-U-I-L-D-S. So it should be builds. When heated, pressure builds up within the kernel and then small explosion or pop is the end result. Yes, and a, okay, and an, it should be a small, okay, consonant sounds don't take an, and a small explosion or pop is the end result. There are various techniques or ways of popping corn. Yes, Lakshay, what do you say? What's the answer? Yeah, so there are various ways of, so there are various ways of popping corn. Okay, now next sentence, next paragraph. Yes. Yes, Ashpreet, uh, the dialogue is like mother said to child, why didn't you call me to inform about your illness? Speak up. All of you, please try to concentrate on the answer. Start, mother asked the child. Hmm. Mother asked the child. Now, what's the question? Why didn't you? It is starting with the WH words. So we will not use any other conjunction. So it will be mother asked the child why he why he had not past changes to past perfect. Mother asked the child why he had not called her to inform about his illness and a full stop in the end. Now Arshpreet repeat. Why he did not will change into had not because it is past indefinite. Past indefinite changes to past perfect. And past perfect is had plus third form. So why he had not yes called her hmm, hmm, his uh, illness and a full stop in the end. Okay. Yes, now try next one. Child, I did, but your phone was switched off. So now we have got first part, I did. It's a complete sentence. I did inform you. So child told his mother, now speak. Hmm. Now it is a statement, I did. He wants to say that I informed you. So to, child told his mother that, that he had informed her. You have to complete it. So the child informed or told her mother that he had informed her. Or if you don't want to do this much, 
you can also so uh, you can also say child told her uh, his mother that he had done so that he had done so so to karna padega aapko ha ha you can i did so you are to relate this verb with the previous that with calling so i called you okay the child told his mother that he had called her got it so i did will change into i had called you or i had done so even that is okay is that clear or any doubt i had called you or i had done so i had in i had done so better is according to did only you change i had done had plus third form i had done so and also added and also told her that her phone had been switched off was is past indefinite and past indefinite changes into past perfect was will change into had plus third form that is had been had been the child told her mother that he had done so and also told her or you can say and added that her phone had been switched off hmm okay it's okay simply also you can say but her phone had been switched off gurpal repeat the whole sentence again Now next mother, now next sentence. Okay, first you take up only this part, but you could have called your father. Up till this, you write first. Mother told her child. You know, mother told her child that. Bagi batayi. Bye. No. Why are you changing the form of the sentence? It is a statement. You could have told your called your father. so mother told her child or suggested her child that he could have called his father could will not become now can okay could have will remain could have now could have could have no no it's okay but he could have called his father mother told his child her child that he could have called his father because his phone hmm iske sath hi chalo and because his phone because or as a same because his phone had not been switched off was not switched off will change into had not been switched off in the end your sentence should only make a sense don't worry about other things much only the tense change should be correct okay the in the end your whole sentence should make a sense mother told her child that he could have called his father because his phone had not been switched off any doubt his phone had not been switched off why had not been because was and switched will change into had plus been plus third form of verb had not been switched off was changes into had plus been okay now child sit down gurshan will give the answer
Yes, that is correct. Child told his mother that child told his mother that he had forgotten about that thing. And also promised that he would be careful from next time. And also promised that he would be careful from next time. Look at the blackboard and listen to me. Don't write whatever I'm speaking. Try to understand what I mean by saying these things. Look at the blackboard or look at the sentence you've written over there. The child told his mother that he had forgotten about that thing. And promised that he would take care, that he would be careful from next time. Any doubt now? Even if you say and also and promised that next time he would be careful, even that would not be wrong. And also said that he would be careful from next time, even that would not be wrong. The point is that your past tense should be there. Is that clear? Okay, now next exercise. Okay, revise all this. 